a vast selection, a vast section of humanity lives at the gate of poverty and in darkness after the sunset. They need energy to light up their homes and power their future. And they are also the most vulnerable to the consequences of an industrial age powered by fossil fuel. Access to energy and a better life is a universal aspiration. And so are clean environment and healthy habitat. And once majority works its way to prosperity on a planet left with very limited carbon space, we have to do many things. We have to ensure in the spirit of climate justice that the life of a few does not crowd out the opportunity for the many still on the initial step of the development ladder. The advanced countries must leave enough room for developing countries to grow. And we must strive for a lighter carbon footprint on our growth path. For that, we must come together in a partnership to bring clean energy within the reach of all. Innovation is vital for combating climate challenge and ensure climate justice. That is what makes the Innovation Summit very special. It unites us behind a common purpose. We need research and innovation to make renewable energy much cheaper, more reliable and easier to connect to transmission grids. We can make conventional energy cleaner and we can develop newer source of renewable energy. This is a global responsibility to our collective future. Our innovation initiative should be driven by public purpose, not just market incentives, including on intellectual property rights. That also means strong public commitment by suppliers to developing countries. That will make clean energy technology available, accessible and affordable to all. This partnership will combine the responsibility of governments with the innovation capacity of the private sector. We will double our investments in research and innovation and deepen collaboration among ourselves. We should have an international network of 30, 40 universities and labs focusing for next 10 years on renewable energy. Innovation must be backed by means to make it accessible and ensure adoption. We have succeeded in the post with hunger and disease. We have a very successful model of public-private partnership in many countries present here. India is also building renewable capacity in developing countries including small island states. The progress on clean energy, technology cost is impressive. If we raise the level of our efforts, we can transform the world. We will also lay the foundation of a new economy in a new carbon age. 
we will restore the balance between ecology and economy and between our inheritance and obligation to future and live up to Gandhiji's call to care for the world we shall not see. Thank you.